Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Dante and I'm from Brazil. In this video, I will show you how the Elemailer works. Well, Elemailer is a plugin that allows you to create custom email through Elementor's Pro page builder. So, without coding, instead of the native stiff email Elementor usually allows you to send, you can deliver a much more professional and sophisticated email system to your client. Now let's do it together. You're going to install the plugin, it's free and available in the WordPress plugin library. The name is Elemailer Lite, the team have told me they are working on a pro version with even more features, but for now you're going to stick to Elemailer Lite version because it has everything you need to do for now. As soon as you install the plugin, a new option is going to appear on the WordPress panel, okay? And this allows you to create the new template I've talked about before. And because this is the Lite version, you can only create up to three models. We need to name it and click Edit with Elementor. When the Elementor page builder opens, the first thing you're going to notice is that the section is quite contained and quite thin. And that's because it's already optimized to be sent to mobile and a marketing email. We also don't have all the widgets we normally have, and that's obviously because we just can't send a super elaborated widget over an email because there are some coding limitations. But for what we are aiming to achieve, that's even more than enough. So I'm gonna put a title here, I'm gonna change it to new newsletter lead, change the color, the alignment, the padding. If you want to put a logo, what works best is to put a image widget place it, realign it, uh, resize it. I uh, will also put a divider to make it more visually appealing. Text works just as we are used to. This text is going to be printed in every email we sent. But the big question is, how can we put all that inputted information of our user here? And the answer is short codes. And naturally, in order to short codes work, you need to set up first a form. So I'm going to leave this page here, go to a new tab, open the page on Elementor, we are setting up the form, place the form, go to the form fields, and under the advanced tab, you're going to find the short code. We're going to take this short code, paste it on the short code of a new template, do it for all the form fields we need to use, you can duplicate to speed up your work, change the label. You can remove one form field you want to use or add a new one. I'm going to add a number form field here. Just fill in the gaps. And now we're going to take the short code, duplicate it again, and paste it. Just change the label. It's very dynamic, and that's the good part about the Elemailer. You can do however you want to, and you have this freedom. Let's change the color to match the logo. I'm going to go and give it a padding. A quick thing you need to keep in mind is every time you need to change the padding or the margin, you need to do it in the widget and not on the column, okay? I'm just going to speed up the process here because I guess you guys are just used to it. And now comes the final part. One thing you can't forget to do is inform who is going to be the recipient of this email probably the owner of the site, okay? Or if you are the owner of the site, it's gonna be your email. I'm gonna just put mine here just to show you how it works. I'm uh, gonna change the all fields, change the subject, the message from, just to clean up a little bit. And the final step is, and the most important, is you need to check the option, this new option that appeared here, use Elemailer Lite. You're gonna choose the model we created, and that's it. Just Let's test to see if it's working, right? And here is the email I received. You can see it's 100% better than the native raw elementary email system. If you're doing a website for a clinic or a company, you gotta be professional. You need to have quality in what you deliver. And the Elemailer is very straightforward and simple to use. And it's the best way I can see to do that without coding. So that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave your comments down below and see you guys in the next video.